Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this uh, webinar. Today, we will present you uh, our full portfolio of uh, controllers and solutions for plug-in cabinets with a special focus on how to improve the performance and the efficiency of this type of units. Welcome to this webinar. I'm Giovanni Tonin, Application Manager for Carrier Food Service. And together with me in this webinar, we will have also, we have actually also Andrea Bianchi. Good evening. Andrea Bianchi, Application Specialist for Refrigeration Food Service, as uh, uh, Giovanni already said. So uh, we will try to go more in deep uh, about the food service market and especially um, about what is the Carrel product portfolio for this kind of market. Um, more specifically, we would go inside the IJ controller platform and then Giovanni we will present us the HEOS 1 R290 all-in-one solution. Then at the end, we will have um, an overview regarding the connectivity offer. So uh, let's go more in focus uh, uh, about the plugin cabinets uh, for uh, um, and what are the main application of, uh, of this market. So we have the refrigerated merchandiser, the catering and professional cabinets, and then uh, laboratory and pharmacy for scientific uh, application. So what are the main, uh, the main needs for these different kinds of cabinets? First of all, we have to uh, emphasize the brand of the merchandiser. Um, on the other hand, for uh, catering and professional application, we need to preserve food and present it uh, at the best way uh, of possible. Then uh, for laboratory and pharmacy applications, so everything is regarding scientific applications, uh, what is really, really important is uh, the reliability of uh, uh, the application itself. And of course, the cooler that preserve the products inside. So uh, we, we we found the four main uh, um, market needs that uh, are mainly uh, the reduction of the environmental impact of, uh, of the application, then uh, the reliability in harsh environment and uh, the ease of use, the food preservation and presentation as already mentioned, and again, uh, at the end, the connectivity. So, uh, regarding the plugin environmental impact, we have uh, two, um, two way of CO2 emission that uh, can be related to direct emission and indirect emission. We have two regulation that are um, regulate this, uh, this, uh, this market. So the F-gas that uh, um, allows the propane uh, to grow in this, uh, in this uh, kind of application, especially for uh, plug-in units. And then um, what is called the uh, eco design and energy labeling that helps to reduce, that is uh, uh, the, the main aim for, for this regulation is to reduce the indirect CO2 emission. So we have, for example, that uh, um, F-class energy efficiency plug-in unit are banned from 2019 and class G um, ref commercial refrigerated cabinet will be banned in two years. Then uh, again, we have that we need to be reliable into uh, harsh environments. And then we need to be reliable also um, because we need to be, uh, the products need to be easy to maintenance. Okay, so uh, the technician should go in the field as less as possible and the intervention interventions should be fast and effective. Then we have uh, what is inside of the cooler that uh, um, gains importance. So first of all, we need to improve the, the food quality in preservation and presentation. So um, Quality in preservation means that we need to control the temperature and humidity in the best way possible. And of course, regarding the presentation, if we maintain the better condition for uh, the preservation of the product, 
we need, or better, we are able to present the product at his best. Of course, it's really important also to have a, a really good looking uh, unit. At the end, not for importance, of course, it's uh, what we call the uh, IoT. So the Internet of Things related to uh, refrigerated units. Units. Why? First of all, because uh, it's important to optimize plants or on the other hand, to control each asset in the field. So um, these new technologies as uh, NFC, Bluetooth, BMS and uh, Internet architecture are introducing uh, uh, new, new user experience and new way uh, to, to approach the business in that way. So uh, here we have the Carrel new product portfolio for, uh, for food service uh, uh, refrigeration. So uh, we will go more in deep into IJ platform then we will see later on the HEOS one. The both are compatible with natural refrigerant and uh, we will see later on how to increase the energy efficiency uh, starting from a single product and uh, arriving to a full solution. Okay, so um, here, just a remark. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, listed uh, different type of applications. So as uh, also Andrea was saying at the beginning, uh, today we are presenting a full lineup of uh, solution for plug-in units that can be used uh, on all that application like uh, bottle cooler, ice cream freezers, but also professional and catering application, uh, like also retail application that uh, uh, more and more in the last years are increasing uh, um, the application with plug-in technologies and uh, last but not least also uh, scientific application that can be covered and uh, completely fulfilled by our solution here listed. So all the presentation refer also to, this, uh, to all of these applications and markets. Thanks Giovanni. We will go more in deep into IJ controller platform. So uh, this is uh, our new uh, product uh, lineup of uh, parametric controller that uh, has a new display technology. We start from a capacitive touch and uh, that allows uh, an ultra high contrast and this new display technology allows also a very wide visibility angle. Uh, then we have uh, uh, backlight buttons on the display. Okay. Uh, as we have seen one of uh, the main important thing and uh, an aspect of this product is the aesthetic. So um, IJ allows you to customize also his aesthetic. As we can see here, we have different frontal color, different uh, button layout that can be associated with different and specific function of each application. So here we have two different families of configuration. Uh, or, or better customization. One is uh, configurable products, while the other one is full custom products. Uh, here we have um, into the configurable products, we have, uh, uh, that we have to choose, we can choose in, um, into a list of pre-validated solution to, uh, to serve the customer quicker in a faster way. Another important axe of uh, customization is regarding the hardware. So uh, we can customize the product selecting different uh, um, hardware configuration. So the product can come in the small and large format. What's the difference? That the small can manage up to four relay while the large can manage up to six. And of course uh, you see the, the display. So the small has up to six uh, backlighted buttons while the large has uh, up to eight. Both can have uh, the serial VCC uh, fast ado adoption, uh, up to two uh, modulating load uh, driving outputs and uh, the possibility to read uh, a new humidity probe dedicated of course uh, to the humidity uh, management, both in humidification and dehumidification. Uh, Small and large format can, uh, can come in two uh, or better in three different uh, 
format version, sorry. Uh, we have the classical panel built-in uh, version, then the split that is just the power board, or you can couple a power board that is blinded uh, with a dedicated HMI. So you can remotely install the, the split wherever you have uh, uh, the technical space, for example, closer to, to the compressor vein. Uh, we were talking about the fast PCC adoption for modulating compressor. And in this case, we have the VCC option that it's completely embedded into the controller. So what does it mean? It means that we don't need any external converter to talk with the, uh, with the VCC. And we have this uh, bi-directional uh, communication between the Carrel IJ and the VCC. We are already uh, compatible with the Embraco and Secop uh, inverter to drive uh, uh, variable speed compressor. Okay, so uh, why is so important to have uh, the VCC management? First of all, to decrease the energy consumptions, then to improve uh, what are the performance of the cooler in terms of uh, um, cooling capacity, of course, and uh, what is uh, what is the noise and the vibration? So we want to reduce all this sort of, uh, let's say, negative effect of, uh, of the compressor in, into the unit. Another important aspect is uh, regarding the maintenance. So uh, the IJ with the, the serial, uh, with the serial port allows a better and more effective maintenance. Uh, maintenance, okay. Another important, uh, really important thing where Karel has, um, has given importance is uh, the OEM production. So uh, for us, our uh, support to customers is really important. And uh, we propose three different tools that can be uh, integrated into our uh, customer production line. So we have Spark, Sparkly, and Replica. The first two tools are, um, can be used only through uh, a PC, a laptop, a specific, uh, specific laptop uh, during uh, the production line. The first is more, relate, is more uh, dedicated to the technical office, while the second one is, uh, is more for uh, the production line. So you can, uh, the Sparkly is, is a command line software basically that can be integ fully integrated uh, uh, with, the, for example, end-of-the-line routines uh, to do some tests uh, to the, into the units and so on. While Replica is a dedicated app that works with the NFC and uh, that you can use uh, through, through a production line smartphone. The main, uh, the main advantage of using Replica is uh, that you don't need uh, to any wirings because you can use the NFC tags inside the controller that doesn't need the power supply uh, of, of the wall units. Okay, regarding the connectivity architecture and the connectivity offer that can be installed into the IJ, we have the NFC that we uh, just mentioned that it's always present in all the product lineup for, of course, uh, communication uh, to, to commissioning the, the, the unit faster in the field. Then we have the possibility to install the, the Bluetooth. And uh, of course, uh, the RTC comes uh, together with the Bluetooth. It enables you to uh, interact with the, with the controller in a live way. So you can have uh, uh, at your disposal Applica app and Controller app. Applica is for uh, technicians, for service companies, while Controller is more focused and more related to the end user. We will see later on some more details on these two uh, mobile applications. While the third way to communicate with the IJ is the BMS port in embedded into, into the controller. It's, uh, it's a full uh, um, BMS port talking in uh, Modbus protocol. And uh, again, it's everything embedded inside the controller. And what does it mean? It means that you don't need any external converter. Of course, this BMS port allows you to communicate with the full um, BOSS family range. Okay, IJ 
uh, is, is, a, is a very wide platform, but we decided to go more vertical for each application. So what does it mean? It means that uh, we propose IJF for food storage and display and IJM for merchandisers. Each family has specific, uh, specific characteristics for each application. So what does it mean? It means that the IJM is more focused, for example, on uh, energy efficiency algorithms, uh, while IJF is more related to, um, is more vertical on the reliability of the application, okay? Now I will leave, uh, I will leave the stage to Giovanni that will present you the HEOS One all-in-one solution for propane uh, unit. Thanks, uh, thanks Andrea. So we come back to the previous slide, as you can see here. So basically for all the application that was mentioned by Andrea presenting the IJ platform, we can also offer a full and complete package in order to get the maximum of the performance from the final plugin units. And this solution is called EOS One. It's a solution that is including a controller, but not only, it's including also an inverter and a BLDC compressor that can bring the efficiency of this unit at the top level. Together with this package, we can also include uh, as optional electronic expansion valve and variable speed test. We will see later more, more details, of course. This solution is uh, uh, fully compliant and is working with propane, so it's fully compliant uh, with uh, the gas regulation. And of course, is, uh, the main target of this solution is to increase uh, both the performances and the performance and the efficiency of this kind of units. So some of the pillars, uh, some of the main points of this, why this solution uh, can be, uh, can be um, a really winning solution is uh, of course the all-in-one aspect. So here we have in uh, uh, all-in-one controller, the driving of the uh, DC inverter compressor, the driving of the valve and the driving of the fans, uh, all synchronized by a unique uh, software. So we can get the maximum from all of these components. Then we can get together efficiency and performance because uh, at the base of this, there is a continuous modulation uh, given by all of these performances so that we can reach extremely low consumption when it is not, uh, when we are at stable condition with, uh, with the units while we can increase at maximum the performance when it is required by the system. Last uh, is of course the point of the connectivity and the user experience as we have already presented uh, before um, with the IJ. As Karel, we have started a journey that is uh, improving the user experience, uh, moving it from the controller itself to new smart device. So NFC and Bluetooth is bringing this possible, is making this possible, and is enabling the interaction via app. Then, of course, this kind of units is, uh, are more and more often connected also to monitoring systems, so the RS485 is almost a must in this moment for, uh, for this market. Some more details about the concept of all-in-one. So here with this, uh, with this inverter, we have inside also the controller, so all the logic is embedded and we can directly connect to it the DC compressor. We will see later very soon the details of this compressor. We can drive directly the electronic expansion valve without the need of any external driver and we can drive directly also this type of DC motor for the fans, variable speed fans, that are driven and uh, directly by the, the inverter and also the power supply is given directly by the inverter. So at the end also the simplicity of the full kit is, uh, is at the maximum level. More words about the compressor. So these compressors are basically uh, DC inverter compressor that are designed by uh, Chingan according to current specifications. So are exclusively designed and we are reselling this kind of compressor that has been developed according to our needs and according to our standards. So as you can see here, we have three different models of compressor according to the size. We have a 4cc model, we have a 5.7 and the biggest one that is the 10cc model. 
both are uh, active, uh, all of three are active for different conditions, in particular the 5.7 and 10 cc are active medium, for medium and also for low temperature. And just to have a, uh, an average, uh, um, an idea of the performances of these compressors, the biggest one at uh, medium temperature condition is reaching the two kilowatts uh, of, uh, um, of, uh, um, of uh, power, refrigeration power, while the, the uh, biggest one at the low temperature condition is uh, arriving up to 700 watts. So basically we can cover all the application that we have mentioned before and also the most demanding uh, uh, application coming from retail markets that are chest freezer or, or some vertical uh, medium temperature units can be covered by this, by this, uh, by this size. Three compressor we have just mentioned. We have one control unit that is the US one in the middle. The optional electronic expansion valve, very suggested when we are speaking about medium temperature application with a very, uh, very different uh, load according to the different ambient uh, and working conditions. Uh, anyhow, very interesting also for static application like the chest freezers. We have, uh, once again, variable uh, speed uh, fan motors uh, up to two directly connected to the, to the inverter. Also here, very interesting for uh, air cooled uh, air uh, cooled evaporators uh, where we can get the maximum benefits from this technology. We can offer, of course, all the sensors, probes that are required and the user interface, not mentioned before, but that is an external user interface, extremely compact, uh, that brings uh, the uh, wireless technology, NFC and Bluetooth. From this package, what is uh, the minimum package, let's say, is the inverter with the compressor. Nice to have uh, and uh, optional instead are the valve and the uh, modulating fan motor. Why we say efficiency and performance? Uh, this kind of uh, compressor has an extremely wide range of modulation. We are speaking between 20 up to 100%. So the modulation range is uh, uh, extremely big. Uh, this allows us to get the best efficiency when it is working at very low speed, but in case of needs, especially once again for medium temperatures application or for some low temperature application after defrost or after a big load of food, also performance are required. So uh, we can increase the speed of the compressor at maximum. We can also detect this situation with smart logics inside of our controllers and we can get the, mass, the maximum results uh, fr from this uh, uh, full package. An important point to remark is uh, the easy and fast adoption. Why? Because mainly this, uh, this inverter and this compressor are born together, uh, are tested and born together. So at the end, all the settings, parameters, uh, the optimization is already uh, hand, uh, made uh, by, directly by Corel. And uh, uh, moreover, also in terms of certification, all our certification are already mentioning together the inverter, the compressor, the controller, and the full package in order to have uh, also a fast adoption at the end from our final customer. It's a solution that is, uh, of course, uh, uh, reducing vibration and uh, the noise compared to traditional NOx solutions. And also thanks to the high rotation, uh, high speed rotation of this uh, technology, the dimension can be extremely compact. I would say the most compact uh, in this segment. I think that uh, another point to, re to remark, important and interesting to remark is the, the fact of uh, uh, the electronic expansion valve. So why to use electronic expansion valve? Of course, uh, there is one point that is the regulation aspect uh, so that we can keep a very smooth and precise regulation in order to increase uh, also uh, the, uh, the life on shelf of our pro of uh, the final products inside of these units. But also, but not only, because uh, this valve is directly driven by our controller, we can have some logics and actually we have uh, some smart logics uh, to keep uh, the evaporation temperature as high as possible for some dedicated condition. And also it helps to detect uh, situation in which the defrost is no needed uh, in order also to preserve uh, 
to, to reduce the energy consumption. Then uh, there is a point also uh, related to reliability because uh, we can reduce uh, the liquid amount to the compressor, so protect its behavior uh, with a, a good control of the superheat. We can also perform some logics to keep always the compressor working inside of its best condition, inside of its envelope, and also in terms of detection and uh, uh, monitoring uh, of a unit and diagnostic of a unit, uh, in fact, to have a full control of, ev of the evaporator side is giving uh, valuable information for the technician that are in front of this unit, analyzing the behavior of the unit. Once again, but in a larger scale, if uh, we bring uh, this modulation and these benefits given by all the singular components, uh, we can look to, uh, to a EOS one as a solution that uh, extremely uh, improve the food preservation. And uh, we have also some experience that uh, are increasing of days, uh, the shelf life uh, of, um, of the food thanks to this, uh, uh, thanks to this solution. I would go uh, briefly deep on uh, an experience that we have done, a real experience. Uh, we have done several experiences in our laboratory, but I think this uh, is more valuable because it's done by an external uh, laboratory. So we have cooperated with uh, Regent. And actually we have uh, uh, performed some tests on a chest freezer. Just to give you an indication is a chest freezer of 2.2 uh, meter uh, lengths. So is one of the biggest uh, in the market, uh, I would say. And for this kind of uh, free, uh, chest freezers, without, uh, it, it was uh, one of the best in class uh, chest freezer without changing uh, big parts of parts of the refrigeration circuit, but just adding our uh, kit. So I mean the uh, BLDC compressor, in this case, the biggest size of the 10cc, adding the electronic expansion valve, our inverter and one DC fan for the converter, for uh, the condenser. We were able to reach uh, good results close to the four kilowatt hour per day, according to different logics that we can perform with our controllers. We have a dual mode with variable set point that was slightly below four kilowatt hour per day, or with a standard mode with fixed set point that was 4.1 kilowatt hour per day, that brings, uh, of course, this solution extremely interesting in order also to move uh, uh, from uh, a class to another, uh, especially with a new energy labeling regulation that is, uh, that is active uh, uh, today in this segment uh, in the commercial refrigeration. And then also interesting on the professional refrigeration where the class are already present uh, since a uh, few years. So I would say here, of course, uh, these are uh, interesting results we have proved uh, by, uh, with uh, experience also with an external laboratory. Here, of course, uh, we think that uh, uh, the cooperation between uh, the knowledge of the OEM, uh, of the manufacturer, of the units uh, on the refrigeration circuit is itself, uh, together with uh, uh, also this solution and uh, our support can bring even better results compared to this that we are mentioning here. Once again, uh, similar to what we have seen before, because we want to maintain also the same family feeling between all our platform in terms of user experience as an um, end user or a technician can interact with the previous IJ controller. Also here with the EOS one, we have ex exactly the same way to interact and the same tools. So, uh, we are moving this interaction to the app and the app remains the same. Applica for technician, controller for end user, very simple. With the same app, you can interact it the same way with EOS1 or with IJ. And all also new controller by Carel will follow this strategy. And so I think that this is an, a big boost uh, uh, in terms of uh, usability and step by step uh, will increase also the family feeling between different current solution. I let the word now to, to Andrea in order to go a bit more in detail about, about this connectivity aspect. 
and uh, we will see later. We are, uh, I will remain here also for later for additional questions on the solution. Thanks, Giovanni. We will see uh, a bit more in detail what, uh, what do we have for connectivity, both for IJ and Kios One platform. So as Giovanni was saying, we, will, we are trying to move all the complexity from uh, the HMI, um, so from the display of the unit, to something that is more familiar to the user, some more familiar to, to the technician, that it's the smartphone. So what does it mean? It means that uh, we move the complexity from the unit to their hands, okay, um, using applica if we are talking about technicians and uh, controller if we're talking about uh, uh, end users. So here we see that the NFC that it's uh, always uh, embedded into the whole IJ platform and uh, HEOS One uh, HMIs allows you to interact uh, um, with Applica, NFC, of course, then if you, um, if you increase a bit the level of, um, of the connectivity present inside the IJ or HEOS One, you have the both uh, app, so Applica and Controller, that give you the, the possibility also to have access to internal storage, uh, uh, to the internal storage of the controller. So it gives you the access to uh, temperature logs, or uh, some uh, diagnostic data that allows you to understand faster uh, if there are any issues on, on the unit. Of course, again, the RS485 embedded into the controller gives you the possibility to connect directly to supervisory systems. So um, in this case, uh, the boss family or other gateways, but also gives you the possibility to connect directly um, into the production line with some specific tools. There are Spark and Sparkly for programming the, the units. So uh, a little more focus on controller. What do we have here? A really simple interface, really uh, simple features for an, an user, for the end users that uh, is not that skilled on how to program the unit but uh, is something that gives him the possibility to interact for what he needs. So um, gives the possibility to perfectly manage the HACCP uh, protocol, for example, um, allowing him to easily export all the data inside the controller uh, to, to give proof that the, the food at the inside goods are perfectly preserved into, into the unit. Of course, it gives uh, him the possibility also to check the alarm stat status and uh, uh, easy set uh, basic, uh, basic parameters as the temperature set point. Applica, on the other hand, that is the app design for, for technicians and for a personnel that is uh, highly skilled on this kind of application and this kind of, uh, of units, um, I would remark that Applica is, um, is usable both with NFC and Bluetooth, okay? And uh, of course, uh, it gives you the possibility to have the full access again to the temperature logs and uh, moreover to diagnostic information. So what does it mean? One example uh, uh, could be uh, the compressor starts in the previous hour or how, how much time uh, uh, the compressor worked in the last hour to understand if we have, for example, too many startups or uh, if it worked uh, too, too much time to reach the temperature. So uh, again, here you have the possibility to manage uh, different configurations. You have the possibility to manage uh, um, all, uh, all the settings. So to have access to the full parameters list and to change each parameter with, with um, very, uh, Easy of use, of course. Okay, then uh, we have, let's say, two phases where Applica is interesting. So, first of all, the commissioning, so the first uh, uh, installation, and then uh, the maintenance. So, uh, what is important here? The, the main important thing is uh, first that the, the technician can use just one application, so in that case, Applica 
to interact both with HIOS One platform and IJ. So it needs uh, in uh, his smartphone just one application, okay? That uh, uh, according to which unit he wants to connect with, he will download a different package from the cloud. So just one app for different unit. In this case, uh, um, the, the working condition optimization, as Giovanni already said, uh, is already done in the HIOS one solution because the, the couple from inverter, inverter to uh, the compressor is basically already done. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the IJ uh, could be um, already presetted by the OEMs. So basically the, the commissioning is not, is not necessary for plug-in units. If we are talking about maintenance, uh, this application gives uh, the maximum flexibility to the technicians and it gives him the, um, a, a very easy approach to, to each technical issue because uh, um, gives him the possibility to have access to all the information very easily and with, uh, uh, with an item, with, with a tool that it's his smartphone that it's really familiar to him. Again, uh, we have the RS485 uh, port that uh, can be used to connect IJ and HIOS1 to Carel BOSS supervisory system for plant management. And uh, it is possible also to connect a serial to Wi-Fi gateway that allows uh, Wi-Fi connection between the installation and uh, the, um, the supervisory or the gateway in this case. Uh, why or better how you have just to connect uh, the wirings from the controller or the HIOS one inverter uh, to the um, to the Wi-Fi uh, gateway and he sent all the information through uh, through the air to the to the supervisory system so it's all thanks for your attention and uh, now we can see if we if we had some question from uh, from you, Giovanni, I don't know if you already collected some, uh, some questions. Let's uh, give a few minutes. Anyhow, we, um, we are present, of course, uh, at the booth, uh, also in, uh, in the coming hours. And we will have also additional uh, webinars coming from uh, our colleagues uh, all around the world. So we will have still uh, some hours in front of us of uh, I hope good webinars. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks for joining us, and uh, let's hope to see to meet uh, personally. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye.